Hi, and welcome back to Travel Notes, a show where we use music as a medium to discover ways in which we're all connected. Thank you so much for tuning in to WOHM Radio 96.3 FM, or however you may be listening to today's show. If you like to travel, listen to music, and learn about other cultures, this show is for you. You can find out more about what we do and listen to past episodes through my website, gracemcnallymusic.com, under the Travel Notes tab. Today, we're highlighting the LEAF Global Arts Retreat happening May 9th through 12th in historic Lake Eden, North Carolina. I'm so excited to introduce to you to today's special guest, Jennifer Pickering, who is the co-executive director of LEAF Global Arts Nonprofit based in Asheville, North Carolina, which hosts the LEAF Global Arts Annual Retreat in May and Music Festival in the fall. They do incredible work all year long, and we'll talk more about what they do in today's show. We're also joined by LEAF Cultural Ambassador, who is a talented djembe and balafon player from the Ivory Coast, Adama Djembele. Together, we listen to some of Adama's music and dive into everything you need to know about the LEAF Global Arts Retreat and the organization as a whole. So Jennifer, tell me a little bit to get started about the work that you guys do at LEAF Global Arts. Great. Well, we have been working with artists and people who are culture bearers for the past 29 years and bringing people together in a lots of different ways. A lot of people know us, especially in the South Carolina area, through the festivals, through Leaf Global Arts Festivals, which happen in October. They used to pre-COVID happen twice a year, and now we have a retreat in May and then a big festival in October. And then year-round, we have Leaf International, where we work with culture keepers throughout the world in 10 different countries, supporting people to teach their traditions to their youth. And locally, we are a leader in global arts education connecting kids to different artists and cultural bears and making sure that they are getting to step into other worlds, connect with the bigger world, and also connect with themselves and using cultural music and arts as that vehicle. And specifically for families and, you know, people who are culturally curious. Amazing. So incredible. Um, What is the history with this specific retreat that's coming up in May? Oh, okay. So May 9th through 12th, we'll be at our traditional home, Lake Eden, which is a historic place where people have come to gather for centuries and especially a lot of trailblazers and artists. So we have the retreat, Leaf Retreat, which came out of COVID, which was a smaller gathering of just 1,500 people for the weekend where it really felt old school and families could gather. And we also went back to a lot of the traditional beginnings of LEAF with a lot more workshops and conversations and really taking that time and space for the recharge and renew as we come into spring with lots of the leaf traditions. And again, that smaller intimate size, it was something that we pivoted during COVID to try these smaller events. We kept on changing the size depending on what was happening in the world. And this size ended up being that sweet magic spot. So we have kept it as part of how we're moving forward in the world. So the spring we have the retreat and then Throughout the year, we have all of our global arts education and LEAF Global Experience downtown Asheville. And then in October, we have our big celebratory festival. So it really works really nicely, too, for people who like, you know, like smaller, more intimate gatherings, but you've still got hundreds of acres of land to be on or stepping into LEAF for the first time, either by yourself or with your family or friends. Oh, amazing. That's so cool. It's it's cool to hear the background of how it kind of came. It's like maybe like a little bit of a silver lining from the pandemic um, and pivoting in that way. Um, what's the theme behind this year's retreat? Ooh, well, the theme for the whole year, we do our themes for the whole year. And the theme for the whole year is world changers. And really looking at how 
artist essentially transform into artivist and use their music and their culture to make, you know, make things and happen that make the world not only just a better place, but also use their music and art to be able to talk about things or explore subjects that aren't always easy to talk about. And so you can step into them in different ways and using their, using their art to really drive forward what world changing means to them. And that would be something I would ask you, Grace, is what does world changing mean to you? And it's really very interpretive for all of us as, you know, we're, we're always on a path to make the world a little bit better and we each do it in our own different ways. Totally. Um, I love that you asked the question. I never get questions asked during the interview. I'm always <laughs> the person to, so thank you. Um, I think world changing, well, I love that theme. Um, I think it's really powerful. and um a a great theme for this year in particular uh i like to think of it as or i hope that the work i do as an artist and you know musician um is to help facilitate common ground and connection between people and where there might not normally be um i think i've discovered through the music that there's lots of connections through different parts of the world in you can hear it in music. And so that kind of sent me on this journey <laughs> to <laughs> do this with a show and the music I play. So, and so I was so excited to be, I was so excited to meet you at um, uh, Folk Alliance and just learn about the work that you're doing and what you've started in Asheville, um, really pioneering this this kind of work in that part of the, the country is huge. So well, oftentimes the people who are the cultural bearers in different countries and communities are often over overlooked or they don't have the resources to be marketed. And they're often the, really the fabric of the community. And I love, it is the piece that can connect us um, in so many ways and break down, you know, whatever isms there are. So speaking of that, we have a very special guest with us from our Leaf Life, who is Adama Dimbele, and he is a Leaf Cultural Ambassador. And also we work with his brother in Ivory Coast as a cultural, um, a culture keeper who runs a program there, but I'll let Adama, who has been part of LEAF for over 15 years now, and it's one of the gifts of doing this work, is being able to step into places and spaces with extraordinary humans and artists like Adama that take us to places as they're keeping their own culture alive. So um, I'll pass it to Adama. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. Uh, thank you for having us. Uh, can you hear me? Yeah, you sound great. It's okay. my pleasure. Yeah. yeah. Thank you for having us. Uh, like Leaf, you know, Leaf is something very, very special for me. You know, as a musician uh, coming to this country, and my dream was uh, to, to, you know, to to share to share my culture with the world and uh, to bring to uh, to bring my culture here because people was always going back home there to learn the culture and, you know, to bring it. So I was like, if I can come to this, uh, you know, to the world to, to, to share that with me. So coming to, coming to the state, coming to the United States and traveling, performing a lot of different places with a different band, but coming to Asheville and meet with Leaf, you know, performance I was doing at the, at the, at the thing, it was my dream was to, ch uh, to change something to, to really bring a more education or culture to people. But, Everything I was doing was with the adult, you know, bar, at the club, at the, you know, place like that. But I was always looking around how to share that with the family because the new generation was the one I wanted to more attach with my, uh, with my message and my culture. Mm -hmm. So belief was the perfect, the perfect, uh, the perfect dream for me to be able to, uh, to share that culture with the, you know, with the kids, with the own. And you see the family your family getting together because as as a musician you always perform for adults they're dancing they're having good time but to see 
parents and the family dancing together, Kate and you know everybody dancing together, two kids dancing together, and Kate being interested in uh, what we do, and uh, Kate being interested in uh, what this instrument come from, and what is this instrument, or what is it West Africa? What is the king, what is the country called Ivory Coast? What is the country called uh, Rwanda? You know, kids start to be. So for us, it's like, that's why I always said, live for me is a small world in Asheville. You know, it's a place you can come and see and you don't even have to travel. You don't have to be at the airplane, but you have to live. Mm-hmm. You, it's like a, you and you are somewhere else in the world. You know, so uh, what we're doing and what we're putting together is uh, uh, is a already like a change in the world, you know, because uh, when people start to be talking about it, talking about world changing is that's when people start to pay attention because if you, nobody's talking about it if there is nothing about it nobody was thinking about what is the, what is the world change but if people start to ask each other what is the world change mean to you what is it that that always just that questions change the world already because that question make everybody pay attention on what you're doing what you're gonna be doing to change the world or oh, did i'm part of the to change the world what I, what is this world what are people talking about changing the world okay so this this uh, this thing lift putting together for me, it was the right place for me to uh, to pursue my dream, and uh, to sh- be able to share my culture and uh, all this, and not just me, all these international musicians who come here is perfect for them. So thank you for having us to share that with. Uh, yes. Oh my gosh! Amazing. I I everything you just said uh, re- resonates and. Um, it's my pleasure to give platform to you guys because I I just am excited for more people to learn about um, what you have going on and the fact that this retreat is coming up in May. It's going to be May 9th through 12th. Um, Adama, what kind of programming are do you guys or what kind of are you doing any workshops with kids for this um, and family workshops are kind of, you know, what what kind of things are going to be happening at uh, the festival or sorry, the retreat in May? Uh, the retreat first, uh, the opening, we're going to open it with a big, uh, big, big drumming, drumming, uh, big drumming circle. Uh, and that drumming circle will be like a yala too. Yala means like a, uh, like a go for work, you know, like when somebody is going to discover a new thing. So for that yala too, it'll be like a people will be like a sitting with a drum, but traveling, traveling with their mind because I'm going to make them, I'm going to be driving them to different places. Cool. That, you know that, that circle so that would be like a one big thing to be sh- and it's not just me being gonna be uh, sharing that everybody at that circle will be like I said something and what will change it mean to them and what's uh what's it coming to live mean to them and what's it, what they need and what's going on what's wrong with them because uh, the one big thing about us or uh, what we do with live is is a place for people to come and to also share your problem you know, it's not just to come and just dance and be happy, and that's that's not just the point. But it's a place for you to because the people be home, and some people don't like to go to the club to to go to the bar. But when Leaf Festival come, I see people coming from a lot of different places and meet each other there. You know, meet each other at the festival and share share whatever is going on with them. So it's a big, it's like a big house for everybody to come and and re, it's like a big family reunion. <laughs> amazing big family reunion i love that yes. <laughs> so and and you're also a musician i i don't yeah which is awesome um tell me about the instruments you play and and we're gonna also play some of your music on today's show but yeah tell me about Jim, some of the music yeah jimbe jimbe is my main instrument uh i'm coming from like a territory generation of that and keeping all that instrument on, alive because that instrument was like a is a big uh you got like a big lot of stories it was like a, uh, a communication and a lot of times a lot of stuff like that in west africa back in the day so that's my main instrument and jimbe is very popular here in Asheville. i think a lot of people know about it and uh the, my second another instrument is the balafon balafon is a uh, uh it's a little like a, that's a little deep uh, cultural instrument too. It's like a xylophone, a little bit like a marimba. Uh, so that's a balafon and, and, and a djembe. It's my, my instrument I play. Amazing. And I know we have a few minutes here before um, where we're all together, but I wanted to ask um, before we have to split up, what is, well, how can people attend LEAF? retreat and what are opportunities for different ways for people to to go and well 
Hey, and that's really easy. All you have to say is yes. We're gonna <laughs> we're gonna load up and come over to Leaf, and you can come either for the whole weekend, or you can come for just a day. You do need to get tickets in advance. The Leaf dot org t h e l e a f dot o r g, and we do have work exchange. If anybody wants to do either five or ten hours or fifteen in exchange for your ticket. So we try to make it really accessible. Kids under 10 are free. And, uh, you know, it also is a great place to bring a group because think about it. You don't have to rent the place. You don't have, we've got the place, we've got the entertainment, we've got the workshops, we've got everything happening here. You just need to come and we make it easy. We've got some rustic cabins available we also have uh, tents that can be pre-set up for you or you bring your own tent. It's really just super easy. And especially the retreat is just easy, easy. All, um, again, it's small, intimate, limited numbers. You want to get your tickets in advance. And it is one of the best ways that you can spend your time and really create not only extraordinary memories, but like Adama said, we will take you so many places through the music and conversations. And it's not as if you're not going in, you'll, we'll have concerts, but it's not like you're going to a big concert. You're going and we'll have some extraordinary music on stage from Seema Funk, who, if you don't know of him, you will. He's like, the, Jane, the young James Brown of Cuba, the Black Opry, Big Richard, all these world changers, Natu Kamara from the Gambia, Pierce Freelon, who is the Grammy winner for kids' music and um, videos, and several Latin groups, which are just phenomenal, Cana Dulce, Cana Brava. So you'll get this whole entire just you know, sampling of extraordinary artists from all over the world. And then at the same time, you know, you get to choose what you want or you just enjoy the extraordinary Camp Rockmont Lake Eden place that we're at and go jump in the lake and take a canoe. Or we have, we just partnered with the Ayurprana Institute and we have over, you know, 50 healing arts, wellness workshops during the weekend so if you just haven't had time to do whatever it is whether it's tai chi yoga taekwondo uh you know come and you get to have the space and time to do that so number mm-hmm. one just say mm-hmm. yes to leave and come and we'll help you find your path and you just get a ticket and we do for people who are coming for the full weekend we do ask that somebody's a member and that is super easy. It's just fifty dollars for the whole year, but that is really saying that we know you and love your mission about connecting people to different cultures and cultural preservation and promoting global understanding and connection. And there, um, if you have any questions, you know, just email or call us, and we'll help you find your leaf. It's easy, and it's. Again, a place you can bring your whole family, come as a solo mom or parent, or just come by yourself. Amazing. I love it. I can't wait to go. I'm like booking my, I'm uh, clearing my calendar for the, well, the re- retreat I won't be able to make, but the festival in the fall. Exactly. Um, and Grace, bring your instruments. I know that you're a musician or just come and sing. We'll actually be doing lots of um singing circles and just time to create songs and workshops and such uh, oh as gosh. well. Yes. Oh, I will. And you can also <laughs> learn, you can learn more about if you want to just hop on the computer and learn more, there's um, their website is www.theleaf.org. Um, and there's links there for all, everything we're talking about um, and more. And uh one final question for both of you. Um, how do you think music connects us? Oh, <laughs> I think I'll start and then I'll let Adama go because he's actually the artist. As a non-musician, 
I think that music is not only the connection to each other, it's also the connection to ourselves. And it's probably the biggest gift that I feel like we've been given to, you know, the, to create the soundtracks of our life. It's what gives us the feeling It what is takes us places and I am so grateful to get to work with so many extraordinary musicians. And on that note, before I hand it to Adama, say really good luck charms. Adama and his brother are working on bringing a group from Leaf International Ivory Coast to the retreat. We have passports in hands, and now we're just at the mercy of the visa gods. So hopefully that will all go great. And so oh. I'll pass it to Adama. Um, of your thoughts on music all right well music for me is uh, uh before i even say anything about music i'm gonna say that's another thing at the retreat uh this time is gonna be like you know people can people is gonna be able to even you know connect with the musician and talk to them and you know take it like a classes from them so that's gonna be something even to know more about music too I mean, to that, that music question, music can change, uh, uh, change so many people's life. If you don't, if you, if you like the way I grew up with the music was, uh, I see so many people who, who was, uh, uh, got like a loss about their life. They didn't know what else they were going to do. If it was not music, like a bringing them back to, uh, to the reality. And it's like, even just not play the music, just listen to it, change your life. So everybody know what music can be it can be medicine it can be uh it can be uh, it can be therapy it can be anything for 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 your you, for the person who play music or for the person who listen to the music so that's uh pretty much all i can say about music thank you so much <laughs> that was beautifully <laughs> said by both of you guys and i i couldn't agree more um so Adama, definitely want to dive in, speaking of music, to the music that um, we're going to share of yours on today's show. And Jennifer, I just want to say a huge thank you for being on the show and for all the work you're doing and have done through Leaf Global Arts. Um, it's really amazing. And it's also just great to, to see you again. <laughs> yeah, it's an honor. It is totally an honor. Okay, enjoy the music and grace. Thank you for letting people take a little journey to leaf through your program. Of course, my pleasure. My pleasure. Okay, so Adama, let's talk about, um, tell me about this first track we're going to play, your solo track. Uh, the Wasolo Jansa, Wasolo, Wasolo is a rhythm, it's a music from uh, this group ethnic from uh, uh, Mali called Wasolo people. So uh, the Wasolo, Wasolo that, that group of people have like a this music, they, they do it for a lot of different ceremony, like uh, for uh, when they, when they, for like a wedding and also for uh, uh, for like a, for like a wedding and birthday party. You know, so when I came to, I came to the state, I wanted to, uh, to, to put that rhythm together. And also it's, a, it's like a two different rhythms. So Wasolo and Danza. Janza, it was like a celebration of a young young people people's music. So I came here. I wanted to put those two rhythm together and celebrate and celebrate my my welcome into Ashby very much. So that's why that was like that's why it was my first track. It was my first recording, my first recording in Asheville. I got two I got two people, Drew and Justin from Tobacco, play guitar and Goni track on top of it. And the rest of the track I was me and Greg. So it was, it's a very, very good track and it's got like a very long story. I don't want to take too much time with the, the, the story of the music, but yeah, that's what it's meaning. Oh my gosh, beautiful. Well, I hope everyone enjoys. This is Basolo Danza. <laughs> Ah, la 
And the second piece uh, track of yours is with a group that is called is called Zansa. Can you tell me a little bit about about the group and and then this next track, Miwa? Yeah. Zansa is a metal group. When I, again, when my my dream and my my thing was always to to travel to the world and and to connect people together and bring people together and understand like a music and a, and a culture can can be shared by everybody. So when I came to Asheville, I created this band called Zansa, and Zansa mean mix. So mix can be it can be a mix of a color, it can be a mix of a food, it can be a mix of people, it can be a mix of a mix of everything. So which was my idea. So that's why I got all my friends here and put them together and uh, uh and put this track together called Miwa. And Miwa was a song to tell everybody, uh it's a song like for the traveler. Like if you go somewhere and leave your family behind you, because that story touched me a little bit. So I'm always telling my family I'm traveling uh for for reason. I won't be gone forever. It's, it will be like a, always like a back and forth between me. And the and the, and the, and the family. So that's a new one. Mm, that's beautiful. Salut à tous les fois jeunes habitants. Un salut d'Adam Ostet depuis les États-Unis. Le mien de mon cœur, le mien de ma vie. Même si moi je vis loin de ta présence, tu sais bien que sans toi, chérie, ma vie n'a plus de sens. À ton amour. Chez nos pays 
tous les frangins de Colombie. Sans oublier les Français du Mali. Some shaker at this song for sure. And this third track, also by Zansa, Cream Song. Tell me about this one. The Cream Song is a is a very deep song for me. It's a uh, it's a song about I was I was saying that that song we are the fish out of the water, and a lot of people was asking me question about what do you mean we are the fish out of the water. I was saying, if you take the fish out of the water, you see the fish start to freak out. The fish need to water to live. So if you put the fish back to the water, the fish will be fine. So I said, now this world, we are like a fish out of the water because we all are freaking out for some reason. We have a lot of things going on. So, yeah. I, and I said, we have a lot of things going on in mind. And uh, everybody, everybody is busy with what's been going on. I say we, that's how we, we, we look like at this life right now, like a fish out of the water. So I was saying this track, how to be back to the water. It's a very simple thing. I'm asking everybody to think about what you need, what you don't need, how to care about each other and how to support each other, how to see, how to bring it, to bring it down what I need a little bit. And so, so that's pretty much what I'm saying. This crane song to try to get back to the water as a fish, so we can live a little bit easily or fine. <laughs> oh my gosh! Yes, one hundred percent. That resonates, and I can't wait to listen to this track. This is crane song. <laughs> Nous sommes le poisson. 
TV or the low. We are the fish, say. Living out of the water. Yes. Yes, we are. find your music online and will you be performing at this year's retreat and festival for leaf yes as a as a as a as a leaf or one of the leaf ambassador i'll be pretty much like at every stage because i do uh i'll be like a helping with her, everything with the kids because i've been part of the leaf for school and street to and also all the Leaf International uh, musicians will be coming here. I'll be helping them with the stage. So you will find me a lot of different stages at Leaf, you know. And I will be like a part of a lot of workshop too. And here at the Leaf, uh, at the Leaf downtown, I have this, every Saturday, we do like a big classes there, drum classes, so everybody can come and join that. And uh, but at the retreat, I'll be definitely doing like a lot of different performances. You will see the schedule on um, the calendar. Amazing. Adama, thank you again for, for taking the time and being on the show and sharing about the work you're doing and your music. It's been a pleasure to, to talk with you and to meet you. Thank you so much. Thank you. It's really nice to meet you. I can't wait to hear you play too. <laughs> Me too. Okay. <laughs> okay. Take care. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you so much for tuning in to today's show. It's truly an honor to highlight the work Jennifer, Adama, and the Leaf Global Arts team are doing in Asheville and the global community. To connect with them and to learn more, visit theleaf.org. And as always, thank you so much for being here and tuning in to Travel Notes. The show wouldn't happen without you. If you enjoyed today's show and want to listen to past episodes or connect with me, visit gracemcmillanmusic.com or you can find us on social media at travelnotes underscore podcast. 
Stay tuned. Our next adventure isn't too far away. And in the meantime, wishing you peace, harmony, and safe travels wherever this crazy adventure of life takes you.